Here we have a few 360 degree videos and if I open this one we can see that we can grab them and move them. Okay and the next one is combined so all of those clips are combined into this one. And this is not movable or rotatable anymore this is totally stretched out. So let's see how to make this one rotatable once again. We have to use a small program for example this one spatial media metadata injector which can be downloaded from that web address more exactly from assets we have this portion and the windows version if you are on windows okay and it's this program double click on it to open it now we have to browse to this video so i'm going to copy the path where that one is stored and click on open i already came here so it remembers it but just in case you have to paste that in and then open now select the video which is not 360 degree anymore that one and click on open make sure this one is checked my video is spherical 360 degrees and inject media click on that button and it's going to create another version of the same file but with the injected text after it so click on save and if I go to the task manager I can see that the hard drive is heavily used, almost heavily. So it's making a copy of the same file. This was copied to this one. So if I open this, it's finalized. The original cannot be rotated. So this was converted and it lost its metadata from the original files. And if I open the injected one, now the same video can be rotated. Okay, we can open, let's say, Total Commander. And let's compare the combined and combined injected. Right click on them to select both of them. Files, compare by content. And now it's comparing those two video files. They are pretty large, 7.4 gigabytes each and now it's comparing both of those files and it says that it found three differences here's the first difference which is red that's the second one so on the left side you see the original file and on the right side you see the modified the injected file so that was the original version of the information in this location and that's the modified version next difference is this one before the track we have different tractors and next difference now this is a huge one you can go down and everything is a little bit modified okay so even if you take a look the two sizes are pretty similar only the last bytes around 400 bytes are added to the injected file and that's it how to add spatial metadata to your 360 degree video which was lost after a simple recompression in this case i used davinci resolve